Hey everybody, my name's Kia. Um, I wanted to do a quick little intro for my video I recorded yesterday. So um, I am just now starting to launch off my YouTube channel and I have so many things that I plan on um, recording and uploading and um, publishing, you know, going forward. But um, the first thing that I thought I would start with is my recovery from my recent surgery. So, uh, I recently had a laparoscopic hysterectomy, and um, yesterday was my first video. I am 10 days post-op now. Yesterday I was 9, and um, I just finally decided that, you know, I'd be brave enough to talk about it, because, you know, it's kind of weird thinking I'm so young, and I just had a hysterectomy, and um, just talking about those kind of things, but uh, I... I just wanted to kind of throw it out there and you know kind of give my take and kind of what I'm going through and that way hopefully it'll help somebody else I know that I've listened to tons of videos and I am so thankful for all the ones that I have listened to they were a tremendous help you know when I was getting ready for the surgery um, you know just trying to decide on whether or not I was going to do the surgery and stuff like that so um, anyway but I hope you enjoy the video and um, here's the clip. So hey everybody, I just want to do a quick update on my surgery. So I had my surgery nine days ago. Today's Sunday, I had it a week ago on Friday and um, I'm feeling pretty good. I've been getting up and walking back and forth from the kitchen and the bathroom and stuff like that. And, um, the biggest complaint that I have is that I hurt between like my belly button and my rib cage, like right there in my stomach. I don't know if it's the muscles. I was picking up my laptop a lot and it's a big clunker. So I'm thinking maybe I just use those muscles too much. So I still haven't been able to sleep in my own bed. I've been camping out here in the recliner and um, my husband and my kids and my mom and everybody have been really helpful. And, you know, getting me what I need and um, making sure that I'm not lifting and carrying stuff and, and things like that. So, um, but anyway, I thought I would kind of give a rundown. So, my surgery was on Friday. I went in at 6.30. I had to be there at 6.30 to sign in and do all the pre-op stuff. Um, I filled out all the paperwork that they needed and, you know, they weighed me, they put an IV, um, they made me do a pregnancy test just in case. I actually had my toes tied seven years ago, but you know, oh well, whatever, whatever makes them happy. So I did that. Um, they got my IV going, you know, they did those uh, circulation cuff things on my legs and um, waited for the doctor to come in. Um, they gave me some kind of thing through my IV and then next thing you know, I'm like waking up um, in the recovery room. So uh, I guess the surgery lasted for about um, two hours and I haven't actually talked talk to the doctor yet. He went out and talked to my husband and let him know that everything was okay and that I was in recovery and everything. Um, he did say that, they, that he found um, endometriosis in my uterus and um, so they sent it off for testing. And as far as I know, they took my uterus, my cervix, as well as my fallopian tubes. They left my ovaries. And then um, they sewed the top of my um, vaginal canal or whatever closed. And that's really all I know. So um, I have three little tiny incisions. And then um, they went through my belly button. That's probably the most painful one. Um, the healing and everything, it's just, it's itchy. But... Um, but anyway, so he went out and he told my husband all that, you know, he sent it off for testing and by the time I go in for my follow-up appointment in another week, um, they should have more results, make sure nothing's cancerous and, and he'll give me more details from there. So, um, I did not get to talk to him before I was discharged because they require you to pee before they discharge you and, um, uh, I don't know if it was anesthesia or what, but I just could not go pee while I was there. So um, I got out of surgery at 10.30 
and or I remember you know uh, asking what time it was and it was about 10:30, and they finally decided to go ahead and release me at 1:30 um, to let me come home and let me try and pee and everything here. And then if I couldn't, then I was going to have to go back to, like, the emergency room or something like that and do a catheter. And thank goodness, um, I came home and I had some coffee and I drank some water and everything and I was able to pee just fine. So, um, the first mm, day or two was a little rough, you know, getting up and down. Thank goodness I've got, um, recliner chairs or they're electric. So I was able to pretty much get up and then... Um, my mom or my husband would just help steady me and everything and then help me kind of hobble to the bathroom. Um, the first couple days I needed some help just because I felt a little lightheaded when I would get up. Mm. Um, but, you know, by the time they pretty much got me across my wood floor and everything, made sure I wasn't going to slip, then I was able to do the rest on my own. Um, and then they would help me across the wood floor again. And then I would get all situated and sit down in my chair again and just kind of relax. So, um, I've pretty much been doing that for the last, last week. Um, Friday, my, um, one week day, um, we had some company over, so I had to get up and get dressed and, you know, do that kind of stuff. Um, my mom kept my kids, well she stayed the first couple days with me, and she kept my little kids, my youngest is 7, and my middle one is 9, and my oldest is 12, so my oldest, um, she gets real anxious real easy, so she stayed over at my mom's house and everything until Sunday, and then my mom went home and swapped them out, and then that way my oldest could be here to help me out and everything, because my husband works nights, so, um, she came home Sunday, and then my mom brought my other two home on Thursday, and then we've just been kind of enjoying some, some downtime watching Disney movies and, and just kind of being together. So, um, really the hardest part was probably the first couple of days, all the gas, you know, the CO2 that they fill you, fill you up with. It, um, it was really, really uncomfortable, and I think I picked up my laptop one too many times. It's a big, big, big thing. Like, I don't know how big it is, but it's really heavy. And I think I picked it up too many times and I keep getting like a sharp pain in between like my belly button and my rib cage, like right there in my abdomen. So I have not laid in bed yet. Um, I've, well, I've tried a couple times and being able to roll over because I'm a side sleeper, side stomach sleeper, to be able to roll over and then get back out of bed and like use those stomach muscles to get up. Like I just, I haven't been able to do that. So um, I've just been hanging out in my recliner chair. So hopefully in the next day or two, maybe even tonight, I'll try and lay back in bed. Um, and I'm going to look at maybe getting like a belly binder or some kind of tummy support thing. Um, because I notice that if I do hold my tummy, like it helps out a lot. I don't know if it's just a security thing or what. But um, I'm really hoping I can start sleeping in bed because these are okay. Um, see if you can see. Um, I mean, they're okay. It's nice and comfy. And thank goodness I've got the remote so I don't have to do anything manually or anything like that, but, um, it would just be really nice to lay in bed, so, um, hmm, so I guess if, um, anybody wanted to know, you know, what kind of things that they need to have on hand and everything, I highly recommend a heating pad, um, it really helped with the gas, and whenever, um, I'm just really uncomfortable, I just use my heating pad, and maybe it's a comfort thing, but, um, drink lots and lots of water, I took my Percocet pretty, um, pretty religiously the first several days. Uh, the first day or two, I really only took one, and I was trying to do it every four to six hours. I was making it about every five to six hours, and then, um, my dang dogs got into an argument, and I, like, hopped up out of the chair too fast, and, um, and it hurt quite a bit, so, um, took a little while to get the pain under control, so for, for a little bit I took two at a time, um, but I tried to stay on that four to six hour mark, and then by, I want to say Monday, I was weaning off of them during the day, and only really using them at night, um, you know, after getting up and down all day and that kind of stuff, so I would take one at night before bed. And then, um, I think that's 
really been it. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, I had read and I had a couple people tell me to, you know, keep gas X on hand. So I was taking two in the morning and two at night and see if that would help with the pain. I don't know if it really helped or not, but um, but I did it anyway because I had pain really, really bad up until Thursday. And then by Friday, like, oh my gosh, like I was so swollen. I, I almost looked like I was six months pregnant. It was really uncomfortable. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have over here. I also have some stool softeners over here. I couldn't quite tell if they helped out at all. Um, I took them two in the morning and two at night and I still wasn't able to go to the bathroom a couple days after surgery. So I took milk and magnesia and then that did the trick. So um, after that I was taking the stool softeners in the morning and then I've been doing milk and magnesia about every other day to try and keep me regular because I really don't want to get bound up. I, I have no muscles right now like they're just really sore and everything. I don't even want to deal with that, um, that issue. So, but otherwise, everything has been pretty good. So, I hope that if anybody is having a surgery coming up soon or anything like that, that um, everything goes well for you and you have a quick and safe recovery time. And um, if anybody has any questions, just let me know. And I will probably post a uh, another video kind of going more into my surgery and um, why I had the surgery and just, you know, other other things that kind of led up to having the surgery later once I take a shower and get dressed and kind of do something with this rat's nest on top of my head. <laughs> so, but um, I just wanted to do this first one and say, you know, it's really, really not too bad if you can do a laparoscopic um, hysterectomy then really it um, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I've gone out of the house a couple times with my husband and I really have no problem getting up and down and going to the kitchen and stuff like that. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't lift anything. Um, it was a really rough year at work. I worked a ton, a ton of hours and um, so right now I'm really just trying to rest and recoup before going back to work. Uh, I took two weeks off for my recovery and then I'm gonna go back on the 19th and then um, I'm just gonna you know hopefully work as much as I can. I'm hoping maybe getting like a belly binder or maybe like some Spanx or something like that just to kind of um, provide a little support. It's gonna help. I'm an accountant so I sit in a desk all the time but we've got new people so I, I do get up and down a lot. Um, thank goodness it's a small office, I don't know, a thousand square feet or something like that, but walking up, back and forth, and up and down, and all that kind of stuff, um, tell them they're gonna have to wheel me around, <laughs> but I don't know, we'll see, hopefully I can make it full days, but if not, then, you know, I'll work whatever I can, and come home and rest, um, then we'll kind of get through that, but thank goodness I go back the week of Thanksgiving, so it's gonna be a short week anyway, but, um, I will give another update hopefully soon and then like I said I'll do a video on what led up to the hysterectomy and some other kind of health issues and then um, I want to post other things too. I have a legging business. I really want to have a clothing boutique. I want an online clothing boutique really bad. Um, so that's one of my goals. We love nerd gear. If you can tell here's my shirt. My sister gave it to me. Um, but it has Crash Bandicoot on it. So, yeah, we love our nerd gear. Um, totally looking forward to the new Fallout coming out. Uh, we did not pre-order it. My husband's a computer gamer. I prefer the PlayStation. So, still trying to figure that out. Um, I do have some things coming up. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll be hopefully talking soon.